<laughs> so, I don't see many kids, so that's good. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> very, very sweaty fingers. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Goodall, the famous mathematician, the big one who gave mathematics an existential crisis with his incompleteness theorem, he starved himself to death when, he got, when his wife got sick because he was afraid of being poisoned and couldn't cook for himself. Right now it's called Super Funk Deluxe. Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's, it's basically about um, sexuality and being a part of the church and kind of how restrictive that could be and like repressed, I guess. Um, yeah, so anyway, here it is. I was so scared, my heart turned out fell. I found that you were Obsessive person. I mean, I have been about ideas about God and um, about the million strings that are the future. I've been obsessed about those things, but not about girls really, nor guys for that matter. Uh, <laughs> though there was a minute after I got called fag so many times around age nine, uh, and so I decided I'd stare at an Aaron Carter poster and wonder slash be afraid if I was going to get a boner. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't, but I'm glad I gave it a sincere check. Uh, <laughs> Young Roman, Asian, minor, Greek, athlete, back a horse-drawn cartload of generations ago. Goodall was one of Einstein's close friends, uh, one of the only people Einstein said he felt intellectually comfortable around, because Goodall had the guts and the intellect to disagree with him. Uh, where Einstein saw curves and observers, Goodall saw folds and unveilings. <laughs> died a month ago, actually died last year, a month ago, today, um, went out with his mom and got gluten-free spaghetti. Uh, she asked me what my last memory of him was, and, and I lied, and felt something in me shrink very, very small, like the Grinch, but opposite, five times smaller. And when you're that small, there's not a lot of room for thinking, and so the lies are usually short and have short logic. I've spent my life recovering from my life, recovering from myself. How's it happen a man ends up on the street homeless? How does it work that nobody claims you? She was my love, she was my queen, and now a thousand years between. Goodall's incompleteness theorem, by the way, uh, it, it isn't complicated right there. The statement on the other side of this card is false. That's what one side says, and they, the other says the other side of this card is true. And this might seem lame, but it isn't just a language game. It says you can't trust even the most banal sense objects. All you can trust is sincerity. And you can't trust sincerity without both its spoken truth and its validation through action, through its total consequence. Lies have short logic. A single honest conversation has more logical depth in it than even our best mathematical proofs. I told my dead friend, I told his mom uh, that we smoked some weed, watched a movie, and then slept in the same bed. What movie? Was the weed good? Why did you sleep together? What movie? What movie? What movie? What movie did you watch? The question seemed infinite, absolutely infinite, like it went all the way back to the Big Bang and back to that present moment. There is only a dap. Suck it up. Deal with it. Wu Ching. Yeah! The night will give you a horizon further than you can see. You must learn one thing the world was made to be free in. Give up all the other worlds except the one to which you belong. Uh, I just wrote this today at the coffee shop below my apartment. I love you all from here in the coffee shop. I hope 
I love you later in front of you, but that's a long trip, and I'm very, very, very sweaty, floating, small, compared to a group, folded up, bailed over, and I hope you have a very nice rest of the evening. Thank you. <laughs>